All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Chakodash, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutations and much love to y'all. I came out there sincerely pushing out this word in true sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick video, you know, concerning these uh, two thirds. All right, the ones that are going to perish like the dung that they are. All right, like the dookie on the streets that they are. All right. Because you got a lot of people, all right, that are going to perish in the nation of Israel, man. To be exact, two-thirds of the nation of Israel is going to perish in the hell with them, all right? You know, they, the, we, the Lord said that he's going to utterly destroy them, so, you know, who are we to say otherwise? You know, you got a lot of, you got a lot of jakes, man, that be trying to go above and beyond to, to, to try to save these simple-ass niggas when it, the Lord just ain't dealing with them, man. The Lord don't want them to get it, all right? All right, so um, let me see here. Let me let me go to um, who's uh, Amos, Amos chapter nine, and I'm gonna just go straight to ten. All right, this is Amos nine and ten. It says, "All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us." All right, so hey, all the sinners of, of, of the nation of Israel, the ones that want to continue in their in their folly, all right, want to continue in their in their wickedness, you know, their incredulity, you know, those are gonna perish, all right, by the hands of the of, of the self proclaimed white man. All right, they might starve to death, and ultimately they might get a nuclear missile land uh, square on top of them, man, and burn them up, because that's the ultimate sword, all right, that's the ultimate uh, uh, weapon uh, of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, that's the weapons of his indignation, his glittering sword. All right, so a lot of our people is going to perish via nuclear missiles. All right, and the Lord, he's not going to have no sympathy. All right, no mercy on them. Well, well you know, ultimately he will because he's going to allow them to be in the kingdom of heaven because they are Israelites. But on this side, they got to know death by pain. And rightfully so because they're, 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 they're bastards, you know, they're fatherless. Because why? They, they refuse to hearken unto the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? Let me get that. This is the book of Hosea 4 and 6. This is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, and I will also forget thy children. All right, so what? They're literally going to be destroyed. All right, because what they lack this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, the true understanding of the scriptures of who they are, all right, how to, to conduct themselves as Israelite men and women, you know, they're going to be put to death because they they, they refuse to, to take the hand of the Heavenly Father, all right, and how is he giving, reaching out their hand is through the prophets, his servants, okay, all right, this is, um, this is Psalms 7 and 9, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous power tried the hearts of, and reigns. All right, so even you know you can apply that to Esau as well. But what you got wicked among our you got whip, wicked niggas among our our nation, man. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true biblical uh, Israelites. You know there's wicked men among us, man. Two thirds of our people, to be exact. All right, and the Lord, what he's he's gonna put it to an end. He's gonna just utterly destroy them. You're going to kill the sinners of his people. Because if you're a sinner, you're wicked in the eyes of the Lord. All right? You're an abomination. And he's going to put you to death. All right? And rightfully so. It's it's You you uh, you reap what you sow. And if all you're doing is reaping wickedness, all right, you, get, you know, you're going to you're gonna end up sowing it too. Oh, so like all you do is sow is wickedness. Well, you're going to reap wickedness. All right? You're going to get the judgment of wickedness. All right? All right. So let's go to, um, let's see here, uh. Go to Zechariah. All right, prove that two thirds of our people is going to get put to death. All right, this is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. All right, so two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, 66.6% .6 of, our, our, of our nation is going to be put to death, man. All right, they're going to be burned up. They're going to be, you know, a lot of them is going to be burned up, all right? But you're going to, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, you're going to have niggas and, and spicks dying every which way, man. 
all the all the ways of the, of the Lord that he got set up to put somebody to death. Well, you're going to have that on a, on a mass scale, all right, on the planet Earth with the Israelites and, and, you know, hell with the heathens, you know, and this ain't about them. All right. And but what he going to that one third beginning with the elect is going to he going to bring them through the fire. He's going to try them. All right. The scriptures say acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity. All right. And that's what the Lord's going to do with the one third. He's going to prove them. He's going to purify them. OK. And then he's going to purify the, the wicked by the literal fire. OK. They're going to have to know death by pain. That's the only way for them to return to the in, in the right state of mind in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Because you either get with your Habashim Yahushai now or he's going to come lay you down, man. Get down or get laid down. All right. And it's and it's right to and it's rightfully so, man. Because what they, these people are, uh, you know, the majority of our people are content living in this wicked society. Because what they get to partake in wickedness, they get to um go after their their fleshly lust, you know, be, be lovers of themselves, you know, com commit all these uh, abominable acts such as adultery, all right, idolatry, okay, just being all out wicked, man. And meanwhile, the one, the, the, the elect, all right, the, the main, the, the main portion of that one third, okay, they're sighing and crying, all right, for all the wickedness that we see in this, in this society, man. And, and part of that is the two thirds of our people, man. You got these, uh, the, the, these degenerates in the hoods, all right, in the barrios, the, re the reservations, all right, the, the, those are the worst people on the planet, man. Out, I saw, outside of Esau, Edom. And even then, man, they 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 give them a, a good race for them, a good race for their money, man. Okay, because what the scriptures say that that they they had surpassed the deeds of the wicked, all right? Because Jake like to go above and beyond when they do wickedness, man. Like the let's take the homosexuality for a, 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 an example, all right? The face of homosexuality right now is is is, is the, these it, the the uh, they ain't even Israelites, man. They're just bug outs, but you know. Negroes, Latinos, man, they they take that shit to the next level, man. The the biggest flaming faggot will be a nigga, man, wearing a tutu, you know. And they love it, man. They love it so. They love uh, to be able to, you know, just uh, what's that saying? Live living their best life, man. That YOLO spirit, okay. Going completely contrary to the heavenly Father and what He said, all right. And that's why you're not gonna have no cloak for your sins, all right. Once you hear this word. Alright, cause a lot of you simple ass niggas like to watch videos and as it's come some kind of entertainment, alright? Or just just pass on by, click onto the next video, some some bitch twerking, okay? They not taking heed to the Heavenly Father um trying to correct you. Alright, this is uh Ezekiel 9 and uh I'm gonna start at 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, so the Lord, I right, told the angels to go and, and mark these men that are sighing and crying for all the abominations. All right, and that mark in the Hebrew, the Hebrew word there is is the wa. All right, meaning a mark of exemption. Okay, that's how you get. Uh, that's how you're gonna get salvation from the the the, the pending doom that is coming to the shores of America and throughout the four corners of the earth, man. That destroying wind. Those winds that those four angels are holding back, all right, that's how you get a, a an exemption from that, all right, the, the beast of destruction. You got to be sighing and crying, all right, and, and you know, the, the, the rest of the one-third, you know, a lot of them, most, yeah, they're going to be saved through the, the, the elect, man, okay, because everybody's job is to be a prophet, but if you, if you, if you trying to get salvation, man, you got to do something for the Lord, you might not be a prophet, but you might be a help, or if you're a, a wife, of a prophet, you better, you know, know your role, man. All right. Verse five, and, and to the others, he says, so the others, so the ones that are going to get that mark is going to be the one third, like we read in Zechariah uh, 13 and eight. And let's find out about the two thirds now. It says, and, and to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through sit through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity, because the Lord ain't going to be sparing nobody. No, no, no feelings. All right. It's going to be too late. It's going to come a time where it's going to be too late to try to repent. All right. Try to come back to the Lord because the doors of mercy are going to close, man. Just like as in the days of Noah, Noah was prophesying over 100 years. But when they seen the water sprouting from the ground and, and the rain pouring from the heavens, then everybody wanted to get right. All right. You can just imagine that you got a picture that. 
All right. And the door, but what the Lord sealed that the door up, man, and the door was not going to be open. And that's the same thing that the Lord's got right now. The doors are open for repentance, open for mercy. You got to get on board while you can, man, because as soon those those doors, those spiritual doors are going to be shut. All right. And there's only one door, which is through Yahweh Shai. You can't come in no other way. Like in, in, the, in, the, in the movie Noah, the most recent one they did, they had Cain Tubal coming in. He didn't go through the door. He came in through the, through the, uh, you know, a hole in the wall or some shit, a window. I forgot what it was, but you know, that, that ain't gonna happen, man. You ain't gonna come in no other way, okay? And and coming in through Yahweh Shai, man, is coming in through his prophets, man. The servants that Yahweh Shai left here on this earth, all right? The, the, his 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 prophets, man. All right, so verse six, slay utterly old and young. All right, so the Lord don't give a damn if you eighty years old, fifty, all right, or if you're ten, three. 18 all right the lord is, is going to destroy you if you if you if a lot of are counted amongst that two-third all right with no pity no mercy upon your ass both maids and little children and women all right so women babies all right you you it's a lot of israelite women is going to get put to death a lot of you black bimbos and you you hispanic uh dykes all right you straight up sluts and whores a lot of you is going to get put to death now, you are going to have certain whores that get a, a salvation, but the majority of you is just going to die in your wickedness, man. You you Instagram whores, all right? All you bitches that be doing men wrong, all right? You haven't done the man of the Lord wrong. You, you, you already marked, so, you know, ain't nothing could be said for you. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, again, that word is the wall, and begin at my sanctuary, then they begin at the sanctuary so like at the ancient men which were before the house, all right. So the Lord is is, is going to utterly destroy. All right, with no pity. All right, he's going he's going to send them death angels on down, and they're going to come kicking ass and taking names, man, taking taking names off the list. All right, so you want to be on that the one third, man, the one with the tawa, all right, the mark of exemption. Because if not, you're just going to utterly perish. All right. And if that doesn't scare you, then I don't know what will. Because like the scriptures say, through through the fear, we persuade men through the fear of the Lord. All right? And if you, if that's not enough to scare you into getting right, then you know what? Death unto you. All right? This is um, 2 Ezra 15 and, and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right? So, you know, you being in this faith, in this ministry... Or you you believe, you know, you might be watching, you might not be part of the 144,000 prophets, all right, servants of the Lord, but you might could be a part of the elect, you watching videos, maybe you trying to find your lie, you help, you send tithes, whatever. All right. They, they don't don't let no no scoffers deter you from this truth. All right. Like in Romans chapter 8, say nothing shall should be able to take you out of the truth, no, no angels, no principalities, you know. So don't let none of that, you know, especially brothers in, in in this truth amongst us here in Great Millstone, man. Don't let nobody deter you from this, man, just because they don't believe, man. To hell with them. Like Romans 3 and 3 says, so what if some did not believe? All right? Shall their unbelief make the, the, the faith of the Most High without effect? All right? Just because you don't believe don't mean a damn thing. That just means you're, you're meat for destruction, all right? We need, we're looking to be meat for repentance and salvation, all right? If you don't believe... You have incredulity, which is a strong un uh, unbelief. Then, then death unto you, man. And we're not praying for you, all right. I'm not staying up at night wondering when you're gonna get it, all right. If a, like the apostle say, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on, all right. That's between you and the heavenly Father. You figure it out, all right. Verse four: For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that's plain, simple, and straight to the point, all right. All you unfaithful uh, nincompoops. All right, degenerates, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness. So continue to be an atheist. Continue to be a Buddhist. All right, continue to be an Islamic. All right, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. All right, because ultimately you're going to get put to death, man, in your, in your unfaithfulness. All right, but with that, I don't want to say this is edifying. Hey, brother, stay strong. Continue to push, man. Don't let nothing to, uh, slow you down. All right, and with that, shalom.